Why does it chemo? I'm trying to get my veins to come up, they're just not coming up. And yesterday was awful. The blood test. That's a struggle to get the needle in, isn't it? Mm. Jabbing it in and out. Oh, jabbing. <laughs> it all went so smoothly the first week. It'll be fine. Getting my veins up. Look, I look like a you like dreadlocks. Matthew. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So I've just had my second chemo. I'm just wearing this to try and protect my hair because I've just had the cold cap. So it's still quite wet. It's still got all of the conditioner on the top. And I'm just trying to put it in here to try and take a bit of the weight. Um, so it's not pulling on my scalp, not pulling the follicle. I feel okay. The lady that does my chemotherapy, Joy, she's amazing. She's so lovely. When I met her was when I had my first chemotherapy and she was amazing. She, that was when I needed, by the book, done. She did my Herceptin, grabbed it, done. She also did my Zolodex as well. She taught me through how I'm gonna feel, you know. She was amazing, exactly what I needed, exactly the person, so thank you. And then today I met Matthew. Um, I think he's only there today, so I'm a bit gutted that I'm not going to meet him again, but he helped me through today. So we had a smaller cold cap today. The cold cap was the same, the same one that kind of looks like a brain. The older cold caps are round like a mushroom, they just sit on top of your head. But the newer styles, which are much better, honestly, so you want the blue newer style, they're great, the Paxman. And they sit on your head about here, they come down a little bit far, so you're going to need an Alice band just to pop round here, just so it sits on your forehead there because if it touches your forehead oh my god it's cold like you think it's cold when it's on your head but oh my god just when they put it on try and touch it and just see how cold it actually is because when you've still got hair it is so odd like you don't feel it as much but then as soon as you touch it with naked skin you're like ah so that went on all the way to the back and i did a bit of googling and i looked on the paxman website and i felt it was tight last week but this week i touched it on top and i had a little look at the pictures that i took because i've been taking some selfies for my mum just so she feels like she's with me and for robbie just because obviously with covid i have to be alone which i'll probably end up showing you so it just felt a little boop, boop, boop. you know like when you've just bought or just used like a new jar of something and they say it's not meant to go up and down but there's a bit on top to tell you if it's fresh or not and if it's been opened and you pop it up and down it's a bit like that. So I did that and it kind of went up and down and I thought, hmm. So I said to Joy, is it, there's a bit of give here. And she was, yeah, there is, isn't there? So then I had Joy and another nurse pulling it on my head, really trying to yank it on and it just wasn't going down. So then I went for the smaller one, which instead of the pink and black, now I've got the gray. So this gray hat that sits on top of the cold cap. So you've got the cold and the cap. So then they pulled that down and that was a lot tighter and oh my God, it was cold. Like I could not wait for that thing to come off. Thank God for Matthew. Thank you for helping me get through today. One lady who had lost all of her hair and she, she was sitting across the room and she said, oh, I tried that, you know, and I thought, though it's tempting to ask people about their story, sometimes it's very unhelpful because if I want to get the cold cap off and she said it doesn't work, in my mind that could mentally make me think well what's the point i may as well stop so you have to remember with this every person's journey is different oh and robbie's back ah he's got hey, no not nothing nothing no they haven't got anything no the shops are empty <laughs> yeah i mean they, they are pretty much yeah it's, there's just signs of people saying please bear with us we're experiencing high demand what is happening <laughs> We're just coming out of the pandemic. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. There's people just simply buying everything. 
Get you out of here.